you know, one thing I thought would be nice to do before I uh, start work is do a bit of train spotting. I'll just literally stand here. That was the one thing I wanted to do, like, every time I had a break. But we've just been getting battered, so I've just been staying in. Um, but yeah, I'm just standing here now. It's only 20 past 2. Um, literally, full uniform on. I've just got my coat on because it is sunny, yes, it's blue sky sunny and everything. It is windy though, so it actually brings that temperature down a little bit. Um, I was going to say, what else? Um, trainers on, bad John. So the only thing I need to do when I get into work, and I've put my stuff in my little bag, that one, because um, I'm not carrying everything in my bag, so I've not got everything in there, so I've only got like my headphones, that's the biggest thing in my bag. So literally I've only got like my headphones, the bag for my wallet and keys and phone in my bag and deodorant. That's it. It's nice just to actually walk here a bit and actually sit here before I start work. Uh, just nice just to have that time out before I do go. I did a four and a half mile walk this morning and two things happened on that walk that I did that were very, cons I, I would consider lucky. I'm going to look this way because I can see then. Um, but I'm going to turn it around. Um, so first things first, uh, walking past the fleece in. Uh, one of like deemed, deemed like one of the most haunted pubs in Yorkshire uh, was a right mess when I walked past it but there was a can of unopened Kopberg strawberry and lime it was unopened and it didn't smell of bodily fluids as you would kind of expect things to have the situation on with a, like from like a Friday night uh, so yeah let's just put it in my bag I was like, well, that's a can for free. Not going to turn that one down. And then I went to test, no, I didn't. Went to Morrison's, got some fever tree for, for my mum. And then as I was walking back home, I was walking by the garage uh, on Victoria Road, or Victoria Street. Yeah, Victoria Road it is. And literally. I saw something on the floor, I was just like, what's that? And I just saw a note, I was like, okay, a note, okay. But it was a £10 note, I was like, for real? Really? I find a free can of Copperberg, which I'm going to have tonight, by the way, once I finish work. Once I get home from work, I should say. And I found a tenner, and I was just like, well, that's me two taxis for today and tomorrow. Easy as. Just literally, keep looking at my watch. It's funny because I just I can just go to work at like ten to three. I can literally walk in the doors at ten to three, and I only have to put my coat and then damn stuff in my bag, and that's it. A couple of new changes with work. Uh, there is a couple of loopholes I can potentially do uh, about things. See what happens. Uh, it's not that often now that I do closes, really. I mean, like, it used to be, like, every time, didn't it? It used to be, like, every day of the week that I just did closes, and I'm not doing that as much now, which I'm actually kind of grateful for. I mean, to do this, to close today and tomorrow, then I'm off Monday, on Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm on closes. But it's kind of not really a close now as such, because I'm going in to do that shift to then just do like X amount of work in that evening. Uh, being told like, we can't we can't close anything off anymore until like ten o'clock. So like that's like the hour before we shut. But it's that it's finding that routine, it's finding that rhythm. Because sometimes I'm like, oh, I don't know if I can do that or not. But like, once I start 
once I get the routine going of it, and once I'm like there, I'm fine. I can just get on. And trust me, with it being a Saturday and okay, the weather's nice. I've done my bit of actually doing like a nice walk this morning and then just doing this, just chilling out. I keep waiting for a train to come, but it's just not coming by. Like, annoyingly, like, it's actually nice to sit up here. I keep thinking I'm going to hear it or I keep thinking I'm going to see it and then I just, it doesn't pop up or it doesn't like come along here. When I said to my mum, I'm just going to go to the train line, I said literally, I'm, well, not literally going to go down there and just sit down there, but literally, this is a good spot for um, train spotting. And also another one that is a good spot, and I'm going to go that way in a minute, is go that way and then turn left, and there's the bridge that goes that way down to Doncaster Street, and I'm going to go that way in a minute just have a look over that way and I literally just walk down the hill to me work and uh, endure Saturday and then endure Sunday let's literally see someone walking down on the Hebel Trail do you know what's gonna happen right now and I'm calling it I'm gonna stop here and as soon as I get over to there but literally I'm gonna say this now when I walk over that way that train's gonna come. I bet ya. I just bet ya. I'm saying it right now. Right, so, uh, yeah. Gonna go over there. So, uh, let's get walking. <laughs> 